this is the exhaust valve seat uh, which you need to fix uh, it along with the exhaust valve cage this is the pin double pin which you need to match with the exhaust valve cage so you have to fix a o-ring which is already there in place you can see the o-ring i am applying uh, silicon on top of it so it will the reason why we apply is that it will ease up to fix the cage into the seat you can see the o-ring is already fixed and uh, next thing is we have to check the cage part and particularly where the seating area there should not be any carbon it should be completely clean and you have to match the hole of the cage so that when you lower the cage it should directly fix into the double pin of exhaust valve seat so again apply a coat of uh, uh, silicone grease and i had made a mark for the pin and the slot in gauge now we are uh, applying the grease like uh, silicone grease and uh, after applying it uh, completely then you have to lower the exhaust valve cage very slowly so that it matches uh, the double pin so you can see the hole i had uh, made a blue color mark and the double pin is also marked so that when you lower it will straightly we can make it out whether the double pin is inside the cage or not so lower the exhaust wall very slowly use uh, proper lifting tool and you can see i am just adjusting the cage just only by the mark of the blue color paint marker so and dropping it slowly make sure the o-ring is not damaged and uh, slowly you have to drop it yes it is in place now you can see both the pin and hole are in place and it is matching perfectly so next what you need to do is you have to take out the oil cylinder out okay so next we have to fix the locking key it's a allen bolt that you need to fix it so that this allen bolt will hold the exhaust valve seat along with the exhaust valve cage so this is what we are doing now always use a copper slip for the bolt so that when you are opening it it don't uh, give in much problem when you are opening use proper allen key so that your uh, allen bolt head is not damaged so after tightening the seat along with the cage the next thing is you have to fix the spindle for the spindle just inspect the veins what you go to inspect is just check for any uh, crack or something and now uh, take the spindle valve close to the exhaust valve and lift the exhaust valve and uh, you have to apply, apply some uh, lube oil over the spindle and uh, yeah so you can see the exhaust wall cage is completely clean and make sure uh, you can see the exhaust wall uh, cage exhaust side so that you can uh, lower the exhaust valve spindle properly insert inside the guide and the main thing i forgot to tell is you have to fix the uh, o-ring and a seal ring before using the before uh, inserting the gate it's already uh, fixed but i will show you i forgot to show it in the video yeah, i will show you the this is this is the orange color is a seal don't put your hand inside the between the cage don't put don't put your hand inside the cage and uh, i'm just uh, using a scale just to show you which is the seal uh, this orange color is the seal you have to change it i had changed it and these two o-rings you have to ensure it is in place so don't forget it this seal should be changed and these two o-rings should be changed
okay so now we are inserting the exhaust uh, valve spindle inside the exhaust valve cage you can see the exhaust valve uh, easily enters the exhaust valve cage now you can see the spindle is rising up through the guide area you can see slowly slowly i am lowering the exhaust valve cage make sure the seal is not getting damaged you can see the exhaust valve spindle is coming throughout the seal and that's all this is how you have to fix the exhaust valve seal exhaust valve spindle in place so okay so next uh, after fixing it you can see it is entirely in place and now you can remove the oil cylinder so after removing the oil cylinder you have to fix the next part which is ER cylinder so you can see the piston I mean the spindle veins and exhaust wall cages in clean condition okay so I am lifting the oil cylinder and keeping it uh, separate and now inserting the ER cylinder okay so mm, okay so next is fix uh, to allen bolt I mean sorry to uh, key so that I bolt on both the side lift with the proper uh, uh, lifting bolt make sure uh, all area is cleaned all the lubri lubricating grooves are free of any free of any dirt just blow air that's it okay you can drop the uh, air, air cylinder inside the cage so little bit careful I am um, it's already down so just use a little uh, zinc rod just tap it on top over it so that the air cylinder will be seated properly so it is not completely seated I will just uh, use some uh, zinc rod or uh, Teflon rod just to make sure it is sitting in place okay so after uh, again when you are uh, fitting it make sure the wiring is not damaged you can see now the cylinder is in place and next thing is you have to fix the piston again I forgot to show the seal ring change these are the two seal rings that you have to change and one o-ring inside the piston so one both are teflon and one is normal o-ring and uh, make sure uh, you are using the silicon grease so that it will ease up to enter inside the cylinder so oh, you can see one two seal rings and uh, one o-ring so all these three should be renewed okay okay it is very simple only i forgot to sh shoot that video before that only my guys completed the job okay so I'm going to fix it okay and again put some uh, lubrication like uh, silicon grease inside that uh, inside the cylinder and for fixing the piston you have a tool so that you don't damage the seal ring while you are inserting the piston to so use the tool don't forget to use the tool so this is the tool which I'm talking about fix the tool in place just make sure uh, the tool sits properly and yeah just a little tap so the tool will be in place okay after the tool is in place then again uh, put some uh, lubricant uh, and then you can start fixing it yeah okay this is the piston just insert it slowly 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 do not force just little tap will be okay don't force much if you force much you may damage the seal ring and the o-ring so take a small uh, zinc rod very little tap so that it will go inside you can see the you can see i'm tapping so the piston enters the air cylinder so okay it is in place you have to fix in uh, heat in such a way you need to find a space to fix the conical ring of for the spindle guide so after that remove the tool okay little hard the tool gets stuck okay now i am removed the tool 
after that remove the bolt after removing it all you need to do is you have to put the conical ring in place so this is the conical ring just uh, make sure no dirt is uh, there conical ring in place after the conical ring is in place then what we need to do is you have to pick the air cylinder air piston up so how do you do just blow some air from the air side you can see I am blowing some air just blow some air if you blow the cylinder the piston will come up okay that's all once the piston is in place we are done next to put the washer it is what you call it a spacer and tighten it you got some torque value to tighten the spacer so after tightening the spacer you have to uh, fix the bolts with the wire so that uh, if the bolt the bolt won't uh, go out in case if it get loosened so tighten it properly we are tightening it mm, okay 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 all equally tightened after tightening as i said uh, you have to take a wire and you have to tie it with a wire in other video i will show you how to uh, wire it how to tie the bolt with the help of wire because if i try to explain it it will take some more time so that uh, we will feel bored on <laughs> seeing it anyway and uh, okay so we are doing it so after this is done the next thing what we need to do is you have to fix the oil cylinder in place so that is what i am going to do now just blow air make sure everything is fine everything is in place next thing is you have to lift the oil cylinder and fix it in place and this oil cylinder need to go inside the air cylinder so make sure it is properly greased with the help of uh, silicone grease and okay after lifting it in the oil cylinder there will be a o-ring so that o-ring should be changed i will show you the o-ring also see this is the o-ring that i am talking about change the o-ring and grease it properly make sure uh, no dirt nothing is uh, left over okay now i am going to fix the oil cylinder in place so again make sure you are using proper lifting tool slowly slowly you have to drop the piston uh, oil cylinder in place then after fixing the oil cylinder what you need to do is you have to tighten the bolts all the nuts should be tightened eventually same as I said earlier it has to be tightened with a specific torque torque value okay the piston is in play I mean cylinder is in place and put the cylinder uh, you can see it is a handle handle in place put all the nuts in place tighten it properly tighten it equally like opposite opposite you have to do i had uh, told you in my previous videos also okay so tighten 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 all should be tightened properly okay so after tightening is uh, use either uh, manual you can use spanner or you can use pneumatic uh, spanner to tighten it and then fix the value which is mentioned uh, for the tightening of nuts use proper torque wrench and tighten the all the nuts with the help of torque wrench okay I am doing that so after uh, tightening the torque wrench uh, nuts all we need to do is you have to 
lift the the exhaust valve and check the opening closing movement of the exhaust valve spindle so that is what i am going to do now so how to do that just blow some air on the air cylinder you can see i am going to fix blow air bottom side so i am going to blow air you can see the piston is the spindle will go up now you can see when i blow air you can see the piston go up okay that's all so release the air this will come down and again blow air it will go up so this is the moment checking and it is fine i believe this video must have given you some idea about uh, how to do the dismantling assembling of uh, main engine exhaust valve man bmw mc type engine if you have any doubts please don't uh, hesitate to message me